I started skiing when I was two years old and skied on a pretty competitive level, like in freestyle skiing when like moguls and twister twister spreads were the stees. And then I tried snowboarding one time when I was 12 years old and went home and took down all my posters of Scott Schmidt and Glenn Plake off my wall and put up posters of like Craig Kelly and Tom Sims and and uh, my dad walked in my room and he was like, oh, well, I, I guess you're a snowboarder now. My name is Britton Ellingson and I'm the founder and shaper for Notice Snowboards. And there really isn't a company like Notice um, that you can get a 100% complete custom board. There's companies that you can get your own custom shape and there's other companies that you can get your own custom graphics, but you can't design your own board 100% by any snowboard company that I know of besides mine. Without a doubt, there's some, some amazing snowboards being built overseas, but you know, there's something to be said about a board that's like pretty much completely handmade, totally built for you, you know? Like uh, once you ride a, a custom snowboard, it's really hard to go back to a board that is made for, you know, a, a, a bigger population than just what you want, you know? Like the binding inserts are perfect for your feet. You know, the width is perfect, the flex is perfect. If you want it softer or, more f or you know, stiffer or more flexible in, in certain areas of the board, like we can do that. And then on top of it, graphics too. You know, the sky's the limit when it comes to graphics on your, on your own snowboard. And it, and it shows when you're on the hill and everything, like no one's ever seen that board because there's only one of them. I think, you know, there's just a lot of conscious consumers here that you know live here and that visit here uh, that are really excited to buy a product that is made in the U.S. and made with quality materials and handmade uh, versus you know just getting one off the rack. I think they think of Montana as this you know the wild west and big mountains and all that which is all true and I think that really helps with our marketing. It's just been a great spot to have our business. I answer all the emails, so we'll get inquiries about, you know, people who want to start the process off of making a custom board or just ordering a board. And then also just a lot of follow-up emails, so once I actually, you know, when, once we start making a board for somebody, there's a lot of back and forth, um, dialing in their shape, um, dialing in their graphics. We both have just a different skill set and we complement each other really well. You know, he's downstairs making boards all the time, so I don't actually see him a ton anymore. Yeah, I get up and just come in here and make sure I'm in the shop by like 8.30, 9 in the morning, make sure I do an hour of yoga and then I don't leave until 5 o'clock, like ever, you know. I shouldn't say ever, like if it dumps, like I leave for sure, but um, for the most part, I just make sure that like I'm, I work, work and work and work, you know. So basically you, you get a hold of me and um, we figure out what kind of a board you're looking for. You know, whether you want a freestyle board or a pow board or a tapered board or a directional twin, you know, we, we narrow that down and then I build the shape for you. We start with like a big rectangle and then from there we profile down the nose and the tail. Then we shape the core. We made a Lil 156 today. So we shaped out the whole thing and then we put the nose and the tail fill in it and then we cut off the sides to account for the sidewalls, and then uh, we laid it up and pressed it. We figure out your graphics, whether you wanna use some of like my graphics, or uh, you wanna provide your own graphics, or you can get a hold of one of my artists and collaborate with them, and they'll, they'll come up with a, you know, something you're gonna be really stoked on. I think if we were in a city like the designs would end up being more urban by nature and since the idea is going out to snowboard on a mountain it's I think it's really fitting to be here in Montana. A lot of times it's uh, Britton and I collaborating on an idea and so we'll start with sort of a piece of sketch paper and talking about we want to go with this theme, these colors, etc, cetera, etc cetera. and then I bring that home and start coming up with prototypes and I often just send him a lot of screenshots and then he says, you know, let's go a little lighter on this and it's a back and forth. And I like that collaborative process. The natural landscape is inspiring, especially for um, boards like these two are both photos I took of um, 
in the Flathead Valley of the lake and rocks in Flathead Lake. There's so much material to work with. I mean, I can have a board finished, wax it, put my bindings on it, and either strap it to my snowmobile or take it to the resort, and I can be there in 20 minutes. That, I mean, that in itself for a guy like myself, like invaluable terrain. It's, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do what I do and test as many as I can if it wasn't there. Yeah, I, I really love Montana. I, I've always said like, vacation in the city, but live in the mountains. It's, it, it's beautiful, you know, I, I, uh, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else.